Hi friends, today I'm here with another video and today in this video I'll be demonstrating Windows 10X on real hardware. In my last video, it will be up in the cards or not, I asked you should I demonstrate Windows 10X on real hardware and you guys said yes, you, we want this and this video is dedicated to that. And now I'm currently booting into Windows 10X on my machine. And we got a mouse cursor. The booting is a little slower, honestly. And now let's type our pin here. And you might saw that had like buttons to one, from one to zero. That's meant to for be used on a touch screen. And now we have a very simple looking desktop. We only have. Where's my mouse? Alright, don't mind that. And here we have a very simple looking desktop. And it's very clear. I actually, actually like that the desktop is clean here. And on the taskbar, it's actually light by default. I changed this to dark mode. Ignore that. And on the taskbar, by default, we got the star button and the task view and the activity center, which is over here. And right now, if I open the star menu, this thing opens in full screen. Will it show all? This is basically it. These are all the apps that you have on Windows 10X. And as you can see here, the buttons are pretty large and there's even a gap between all the buttons for the apps and they're big enough so I can click on them unfortunately I this this laptop's display doesn't support touch I would like to do this on a touch screen if I get my hands on a touch screen I'll demonstrate Windows 10x immediately don't you worry about that and we have all the apps like Remote Desktop, Edge, Settings, Calculator, File Explorer, Camera, what else, Groove Music, Terminal, Windows Defender, Alarms and Clock, Snip and Sketch, some very basic apps, you know, and here we got the task view, at the moment we have no apps open, and here's the activity center, and we have Bluetooth, yeah, it's not connected, Unfortunately, we got VPN here. I have no idea what exactly is that. Cast, we need to connect this into the monitor. We got compose mode that reverts the display like this. Oops, the store menu is not displaying correctly. Let's change that to back to normal. We got a rotation lock here. And I don't know exactly what this thing does. I can't demonstrate this at the moment. We have the keyboard layout. We can change it here. We have the do not disturb mode. We have airplane mode. We have location which is currently disabled. And we have ace of access like the narrator, the magnifier, the stick keys and the filter keys. And basically this is on the taskbar. The desktop here is very clean. We can't just select the icons because it doesn't show desktop icons and it, there's no way to show the icons. And if I right click the desktop, I only have one option and that is change your background. If I open that, this will open settings and allow me to change my background. If I right click on the taskbar, that doesn't do anything. I'm right clicking on the taskbar. And basically doesn't do anything. At the moment, I'm not connected to the internet. I'm gonna connect it real quick. Right, I connected my internet cable to the adapter. It wasn't connected properly. Here we can just search the web or my apps. Let's see, for example, YouTube. If we search up YouTube, it will automatically open Microsoft Edge. Yeah, Microsoft Edge takes a little more time to load and by default it, it seems my last searching, the last tabs by default. This is basically the same way how Chrome behaves in Chrome OS. It's actually cool, we, have, we can use the task. 
and now I'm gonna open like another app let's open the file explorer for example this thing is much smoother than the VM literally it's much faster and, and everything is much smoother and now we can put the apps side by side here we go we can resize them if we close an app the other app will take up the entire screen um, we can just browse the web like we normally would in regular windows next thing i want to show off is the, is the file explorer that we never saw in windows 11. this is basically something with the purpose of chrome or s that's what i at least think because if we go up here it says onedrive which means that everything syncs up with the, with the cloud now in my case i don't have anything in these um, i have no idea what are these what are actually these oh, the user image nice everything you do here will sync to the cloud and yes um, if we open the settings here this is like very windows 10 like settings and if we go to system here Yes, yeah, some of the parts, some things, some features in Windows NX aren't completely functional because this was a nearly final build. And something tries to load here, but it's unsuccessful, probably. If we just scroll down. I mean, on my device, everything works perfectly, honestly. Yes, just look we have used 32 gigabytes this is a clean install of windows 10x literally it takes up an awful lot of storage it's definitely a lot heavier than when than chrome os you don't want to see the id here you don't want to see the id and yeah we can see the, the cool thing is that it shows the device name and the manufacturer in, in your device specifications i love this I mean, it shows in Windows 11, but it doesn't show up over here. We're gonna show our CPU, our RAM, the serial number, the device ID, the system type, and the chip SOC version. And about the Windows specifications, it says Edition Windows 10X. But what, but what OS is that? The version is 2004, the OS build is 2027.9. 1002 and the activation status is windows is not activated how beautiful i know beautiful in quotes but how am i supposed to activate this thing there is no product key or maybe it is now let's demonstrate the task view for example I'm gonna open our lamps and clock let's open another app a calculator for example and when you open the task view this is cool. Let's just put these out side by side. There are also touch oriented gestures that I, I love them, but I can't demonstrate them in today's video. But I'm gonna, uh, but when I find a touch screen, I'll do that immediately. What else? Yeah, that was all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure you have liked this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.